Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Buy Shop's review of the Risha Phantom 3 textile jacket. This is Risha's touring and commuting jacket for riders who want something that's a cut above the basic kit but are still focused quite strongly on value for money. The Phantom 3 has a robust outer, a decent waterproof membrane, a removable thermal liner and D3O armour, including a back protector, and that's all for 200 quid as we record this. I've worn this jacket for several hundred miles and I found it a very decent option for this sort of money. I found it comfortable, warm in cool weather, reasonable in warm weather and also effective in wet weather. So let me quickly run through the essentials. The outer shell is made from a tough polyester material with small sections of tougher ripstop material to protect the shoulders. The outer shell is tough enough to get this jacket a pass to the middle of three levels within CE and that's double A. There are two vents on the front, you get two on the back and then extra vents at the cuffs which run a two-way zip so you can open them up there to get some airflow through at the wrist. You won't get a direct blast of air as the fixed waterproof membrane in this jacket will always be a wind barrier but it will cool the jacket down in general. Fit adjusters at the waist and above each elbow let you tailor the fit to use with different layers underneath as well. The main fastening zip is easy to use, it's protected by a storm flap that's held down with velcro, the collar secures with velcro as well and it's got a hook back that you can use on warm days. This collar was the perfect height for me. When it's done up, it comes up as far as my Adam's apple, which protects me well enough without restricting my head movement. The cuffs have enough room to get a winter glove inside. It's a bit of a squeeze for me, or it has been, but it's no major hassle, really. You can also fasten those cuffs tightly enough to get gloves over the top if that's the way you prefer it. As I said earlier, lowering the second puller on the cuff does open up a vent there as well. Last bits on the outside, there are two pockets, one on each side at the waist, Nothing I put in there got wet when it rained and they're rated as water resistant. That suggests to me that water might creep in through the top where it opens, but the body of the pocket is lined with waterproof material. Right, seeing as we're talking pockets, let's start the inside of the jacket with the internal pockets. There's a Napoleon pocket, which is where I kept my wallet and phone. It's easy to get to as it's between the storm flap and the main zip. I prefer that setup as I'm lazy and it makes it easier to get to my wallet at petrol stops. The removable thermal liner has two pockets as well and then there's another one in the main shell. Those pockets are all behind the drop liner so that's where you need to put the stuff that you absolutely need to keep dry. The thermal liner is a full sleeve one, it's not the thickest but I found it took the chill off when the temperature dropped to around 13 or 14 degrees Celsius. There's a polyester taffeta lining behind that which holds the armour pockets as well as acting as a barrier between your skin and the waterproof membrane. There's D3O armour as standard for shoulders and elbows and there's also a narrow central back protector. All the armour meets the basic level one of the CE standard for impact protection, including passing the optional test that's carried out at very low temperatures. The shoulder and elbow inserts are rated as type A, which means they cover less of the body than a type B protector, but it's pretty normal to find that in a jacket of this price. You can upgrade the back armour to get broader coverage and better impact protection. A level two full back protector is available separately for £52.99 as we record this. There are also pockets for chest armour if you want to add that, and those inserts are £34.99 as we record this. Behind that layer, there's the waterproof drop liner. It's Risha's own AquaShell membrane, and it has an 8,000 millimeter static head rating. Jackets tend to range from 5,000 up to 20,000 millimeters, and that 8,000 rating is probably par for the course among jackets in this price category. It kept me dry in some pretty wet rides, and the water repellent coating on the outside remained intact during my time wearing this jacket. If that does wear off and water stops beading up on the outer shell, then it's easy to retreat it to restore the protection. Now a drop liner is the most basic form of membrane in jackets nowadays, but it still has a lot of merit in my opinion. For people riding in heavy rain a lot, then a membrane that's laminated to the outer shell will be better. But a jacket like that costs quite a bit more than this one. For those who expect to ride in hot weather a lot, then a removable membrane might be better as you can take it out and get a cooler ride. Again though, that generally costs more money. For most conditions that we face in the UK, then a drop liner like the one in this jacket is absolutely fine. It rarely gets hot enough for a jacket like this to become sticky. I rode in temperatures in the low 20s quite comfortably while wearing this one, and not everyone chooses to ride when the rain's absolutely hammering down. I'd say a jacket like this is probably ideal for 90% of the weather we get here in Britain, and it's cheaper than paying for either a laminate or a removable membrane. Though remember there might be a clearance deal around that brings one of those down to this price if you think one of those methods will suit you better. At the bottom of the interior for this jacket, you'll see there's a short connection zip to hook it up to Risha trousers. There's no dedicated pair of trousers to go with the Phantom 3, but I'd suggest a pair of Colorado trousers will be a good match. They're similar in construction, although the CE rating is a single A, which is lower than the double A pass for this jacket. A pair of those trousers are £169.99 as we record this, 
which combines with the jacket to make a combo just a sliver under £370, which I consider to be a good value combination. I wore this jacket in all sorts of conditions and even did a 400 mile day in it. I think it's reliable and I think it's a great value for money option. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Risha Phantom 3 textile jacket, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.